Hi, today we're going to learn how to troubleshoot a cartridge jam on a Cube 3 printer, which can also apply on an EcoCycle printer. For this procedure, you will need a pair of wire cutters or a pair of scissors to cut filament and a screwdriver that will fit into the gear wheel that's behind the cartridge. Uh, in this case, this is a T20 screwdriver, but you could use a Phillips screwdriver or a 3.0 hex millimeter. Um, you just have to make sure that the screwdriver will fit into the wheel and as you rotate, the wheel rotates along with it. If the faulty cartridge is still installed in the printer, you can go ahead and remove it by going through the change cartridge option in the setup menu. Whenever you're changing cartridges, whether you're loading or unloading a cartridge, always make sure that you go through with this process to make sure that the printer doesn't get damaged. Now that the cartridge is out of the printer, you want to check and make sure that there is no damages on the printer, that the dongle is fine and intact, and the tube. This cartridge is fine, so we can proceed to the next step, which is removing the cover of the cartridge. You want to start by first pulling onto the sheet tube towards you, so that you can uh, have the cover cracked open. And from there, you just pull on all the tabs around the edge of the cartridge. This process might seem a little difficult, but it will be easy cake from here. Okay, now that the, all the tabs are pulled, you want to use some force to pull the entire cover out of the cartridge. And it may seem a little difficult to do it, but if you pull hard enough, it will come off eventually to release the tabs on the center. And nothing broke. So don't be afraid to pull really hard as nothing will break. So the cover of the cartridge now is out and you can go ahead and install the cartridge back into the printer by going through the change cartridge option in the setup menu. In this case, we're gonna install it in the left side. So we're just gonna follow the prompts. With the cartridge reinstalled into the printer, now we're gonna go to the purge jets option. If you keep scrolling down the setup menu, you'll find it right here. Uh, it'll ask you what side you want to purge jets out of. We're going to choose the number one, which is the left side. So the purge jets option takes about two to four minutes to heat up the nozzle. And then the gears into the side of the printer will start rotating. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and pull down the guide tube that goes right under the insert. And with the wire cutters, we're gonna cut the filament. Make sure that the guide tube remains installed in the filament at all times and you don't damage or cut the guide tube at all. So with the cutout filament, we're gonna pull out the cartridge out of the printer and make sure that the print head remains installed on top at all times of during this process. While holding onto the cartridge, you're gonna grab the screwdriver and insert it into the the gears so that you start if you start rotating it clockwise you'll see that the filament will start to pull out so basically we're just rotating the gears to eject all the filament that's inside the tube you have to do this during the purchase option so that the, the filament that's inside the print jet or the print head it's melted and it will come off easier Okay. So from here, you can just pull the filament out. And now that the, all the filament is out of the tube, you'll go ahead and use the new filament. And you have to make sure, kind of look into inside the hole of the metal insert and make sure that the filament goes through that hole. You won't go all the way through. You just have to kind of push it straight up. And while you're pushing it with one hand, you'll use the screwdriver with the other hand and start rotating counterclockwise. So that the gears will start grabbing the filament and start pulling on its own. So 
So now you see that the filament is going all the way throughout the tube. And you have to make sure you're still in, into the purchase option and that the print head is, remains is properly installed. So we're gonna fit the filament all the way until it reaches the print head. And once it reaches the print head, you'll feel that the, it will get harder to rotate. This is where you're gonna start slowly pushing it through so that it fits into the nozzle and it starts shooting the filament out of the jet. You should see right now it's purging as I'm rotating the gear. That means it's working. If that's the case, you can go ahead and install the cartridge back into the printer and have it purge on its own. So since we were doing this throughout the entire time that the purchase option was going, uh, the gears are rotating now, and as you can see, it's purging filament without any problem. Uh, once the purchase option uh, is over, it will show you on the screen that the print jets are cooling off and it will exit on its own. So the cartridge is working back again. You can try a test print to see if it will work.